let's talk a little bit about the neighborhoods and what's happening on more of a local level. And we're here in River North. Um, River North is an interesting situation. It's a neighborhood that seems to really be going up and down based on new construction activity. This is kind of what we're seeing, I think, in some of the more established north side neighborhoods in Chicago, um, where, where you see price growth as a result of, of more of the new construction activity. Would you agree, Mike? I would definitely agree with you. I think that the markets have been kind of flat-ish the last couple of years. We haven't seen a lot of price growth, but we haven't seen um, price deceleration either in uh, a lot of the resale product. But the new construction marketplace has definitely taken things up a level. And most of that is really driven by the fact that it is just so much more expensive to build. You have to be able to hit higher prices in order to even warrant uh, trying to build new construction. So neighborhoods like River North, who've had some really cool, really interesting projects get done, you definitely see a change in the average price per square foot that's sold when you factor the new construction in the marketplace. Yeah, this is an interesting stat. Um, average price per square foot for all condominiums in River North is $420 a foot, $421. Average price per square foot for the new development, uh, new construction projects that are currently marketing is about $785 a foot. So you see that big difference. And developers, I think, need to up the game a little bit to, to account for that difference. Um, one of the ways that they're doing it is, is design. Yep. And that's kind of an interesting trend. I mean, we're, we're in the sales center. Um, the developer partnered with Gary Lee, which is one of the hottest designers in the city right now. It used to be that, that you would really promote the architect on a building. Now it seems like interior designers and architects are sharing top billing on the marquee. Thad, why is that uh, becoming important? Well, I think pricing has gotten very high with the cost of land, the cost of construction, the affordable requirements. You see new construction is starting to achieve, as you said, almost 800 and it's an average in River North. When you start getting to those prices, details really matter. When buyers are thinking about spending $800 per square foot on new construction, they care. They care about the small details inside their home. They're willing to spend the money, they're willing to pay those numbers, but they want design. And a high-end interior designer with a great reputation, we are seeing accelerate sales for new construction because buyers now have more confidence, not just in the general contractor and the developer, but also the interior finishes, the lobby, the hallway, and what ends up being their home. All right, so that's new construction, um, but you know, a lot of the buildings in this neighborhood, even some of the you know, last generation newer ones are coming up on 20 years old. So if you're a seller and you're in one of those 20 year old buildings, what do you need to know? It's actually a great opportunity because most people aren't willing to do the work. And so you get a lot of inventory that's very average. No one really wants to be average. No one wants to buy average. So if you set yourself apart by spending money in the areas where the buyers are most interested, talk with your broker, and it usually has to do with kitchens and baths and updated closets. You're gonna put yourself in a nice position to sell quickly at a higher price. Those sellers that don't want to position their home so it attracts the most interest are gonna to have to wait a while to sell or they're gonna to have to accommodate the price. Sure.